Greetings everyone and welcome back. Yes, we're not in the same place we were because my save file was freaking corrupted. So we literally had to redo everything that we just did. We made one decision change and that was it. We did not release the goblin and we did not succeed on that persuasion check. So the tieflings attacked us and we tried knocking them out with this button right here. But then we come back through and they attack us again, so no choice. We're fixing to go back and talk to those druids, but we're going to talk to these guys real quick. Go ahead. Okay, I'll click one. Alright. Using vampire? I'll not gamble our lives <laughs> yes, or futures on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Good persuasion. Good try. Get out while you can. The goblins will be back. Say nothing. Let's persuasion them. Target's 13. He doesn't have a great charisma, remember? 15, I got it. Awesome. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Okay. Whoops, quick and easy. So we also, because I, I was wondering where he was at, but we found where the warlock is. And he's yeah, over we, here by these tiefling kids practicing on training dummies with swords. Might want to talk to him. Yeah, I'm going to do that and then we'll go down there. Click on me. Go on. Give me a best shot. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Again. <laughs> Hey, hey, keep focus. See how I used your own force against you? Uh, I can't do it. <sighs> of course you can. It just takes time. I didn't become the Blade of Frontiers overnight. Child's too soft. You're just wasting your time. No, they're not. <laughs> Hey there, can I have a word? The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. An unknown face commands your mind. Rust red skin, gnarled horns. I'll be damned to the hells. You are on the ship. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. Did you get the tutorial thing? No? Okay, I'll read it to you. Illithid Persuasion General Tutorial. You can use the special powers that are growing inside of you to persuade this person. Select the Illithid option. No, I'm good. I'm good. I saw a creature in your thoughts. A demon. A devil. <laughs> Keep at it, kid. A demon? Sounds like that brain bug's really wormed its way in. We've both got parasites tickling our grey matter. And I've been having the strangest dreams. Been thinking I need a healer. And I reckon you've been thinking the same. Yeah. Sooner the better. I don't need this thing busting through my skull. Right now I've got other priorities. I hope something. Someone in the grove might know how to heal us. But yeah, I think the only person that might have is a crazy person. Yeah, sooner the better. I've been waiting for this druid house in to return. They say he's pretty powerful. He could probably help us. Problem is, the goblins have nabbed him. We better go find him before we start growing talons and tentacles. Huh. 
Yeah, you can come with us. Excellent idea, but I have a condition. What is it? Look at these kids. They've no chance on the road, not while goblins infest it. Frontier justice, I call that. What say you? Let's clear the road for the tieflings. Sounds good for me. Yeah. I love your spirit, but you're full <laughs> up. Shadowheart disapproved when and Ast comes, Asterion disapproved. The Blade of Frontiers will come calling. Let's just go to the camp for right now. A splendid plan. Gale Let's approves. He seems like a good guy. Yeah. For being a fiend warlock. Any questions, children? Oh, it's this one kid. Let's see if let's see if we can find his hiding place this time. But who's got the hold on, hold on. Why you are like really playing the vampire gal. <laughs> like why'd you even make a custom character? <laughs> Well, I think it forced you to, didn't it? Wouldn't let you play the origin characters yet. Yeah, but I didn't want to play him. And yet, that's who you're playing. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to talk to him and Gail. Gail's got a 16 of intelligence. Does any of your guys know? I know he's got a 9. She's got a 14, but yeah, we'll have Gail talk to him. Her. He stares right past you as if you're invisible. Or boring. Hmm. You alright? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. Oh yeah. That's going to be a lot better of a check. Yep, now the target's 10 instead of 15. Come on. Yes, got an 18. Yay. You find the edges of a concealed entrance. No trick. No trigger or handle something. Are you accidentally bumping the space bar? No, I don't believe so. Then it's just us cutting in and out. The game is just cutting us in and out. It's locked. I could try and Oh, never mind. You could do it. No, unlock. I, I didn't realize it was locked. I locked. Unlocked it. Let's go. Tiefling hideout. Children's hideout. I don't know if it's children's. It just says tieflings. Tiefling. I see one child down there. I don't see any it's other. a child's like little hideout thing. Yeah, there was something like this in Divinity yeah. very early on too. He crawled through a hole and found a skeleton man. A lot of the same stuff's going on. They like their caves. Well, look who's come to visit. Oh, he's got an eye patch. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Your kids? Not sure why you're poking your nose in our business though. Okay. Nothing piques my interest more than being told to stay away from somewhere. <laughs> that would definitely be a rogue option. Yeah, that's true. I don't even know what your business is, buddy. None of yours. This is our hideout. But hey, maybe you didn't know. Because of that, I'll give you a ten count to leave. What, are we going to fight children? I doubt it, but you're joking, right? Nine. I'm going to stand here. Hold on. Can I get a save in before? Okay, let's try talking to him again. Little slow on the uptake, aren't you? Yeah, just a little slow. So, you ready to tell me what sort of racket you're running down here? We have nothing to talk about. I told you to leave. What happens next is your fault. Kids scatter. Oh my. What in the world are they doing over there? Is 
Says Thieves Stash. You did this to yourself. <laughs> what did I do to myself? I'm confused. I'm confused, little boy. I wonder if I should try talking to him with the rogue. Go for it. You did this to yourself. No, nope, he said the same thing. Well, we'll see what's in the thieves stash. Nothing. Okay, there's a hole. Looks like there's just water down at the bottom. But uh, I'm still curious. What exactly are we uh, running Hidden from here? Rulers of Baldur's Gate. Well, the power of the revolutionary in Baldur's Gate and the own life of she is a criminal lord, a kingpin of the guild ruling over the city within the city. The district of Little Kalashane. So the story begins when she was orphaned at a young age. Her father was hanged by the Flaming Fist for sheltering his fugitive brother. Soon after, her mother was denounced by the jealous wife of a patriar. Pat pat patriar? Yeah, whatever that is. And imprisoned in the Sea Tower, where she perished. Alone in the world, she had learned two valuable lessons. When the law is corrupt, it is necessary for those without the support of its enforcers to act outside it. And when the law is brutal, it is ethical. It's an ethical duty to act upon it. To act against it. Operating from within the Kalem Jewel Emporium, Resla knew the value of everything and everyone that moves through Baldur's Gate. She controls a wide network of agents who observe and track the exchange of goods and information as closely as any merchant or politic, politician. But secondhand knowledge is cheap. Rysla's real trick is to draw those with secrets to share directly into her orbit. At the Garden of Whispers, information can be shared with the guild anonymously. Anyone with a grudge to bear or a competitor to bring low, that is to say, anyone of importance, can ensure that the whole city knows their grievance. It is said that someone speaks of your weak spot in the garden at dawn. That if someone speaks it, you can expect to find a knife buried in that exact spot before night falls. And there's a standing mirror. Yeah, no, there's a hole over here, I seen. I think that's the one that leads down to the druid area. Remember that one we couldn't go through? Healed kids scatter again. I don't see anything. Hold on, I'm coming over here. There's a spot looks like you might be able to jump across to. Oh, there's a wicker chest. Oh, I can't make it. What's your strength? You might be able to. What do you... I, oh, for sure. Because if your strength's a little bit better than mine, you should be able to jump just a little bit further. Mm, possibly. Hold on a second. This might give you a little bit extra boost. That's off. Yeah, get as close to that edge as you can. Okay, hang on. Of a distance. You either need the jump spell or you need that Githyanki psionic jumps to get to it. <clears throat> we have neither, so let's go check that passage, see where it leads. Into 
the rocky crevice. It didn't slow me at all. Yep. Uh, you're gonna get it now. This little kid said I'm gonna get it now. I heard that. It's the collector. What is wrong with you, dude? Not sure what you did to piss off Mall. Don't want to know. Keep walking, scab. <laughs> Nothing to do with us. Well, here's this guy again. Mm. 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 She pretend fighting us. Flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Okay. That's a little odd. We're gonna get ambushed on the road by tiefling kids. Probably. I really hope not. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now. Oh man, get up here. She's a thief I'm trying. spawn. And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! The druids are talking about her daughter. I'll rip your damn throat out. <laughs> Well, now they're bears. Damn it! We could have taken those gods. So that must be their daughter. I'd rather you not get eaten by a bear. Should we talk to them? We talked to them the first time, and they said that we were able to come in. The one dude didn't say anything; he just growled. The guy who turned into a bear. So I guess... like the people that were talking about Move their daughter. Back at once. Move back at what? You need to calm down. These druids are like. Ridiculously crazy. Kick back, force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. What? Oh, I understand. All I can see you. is your dude's back. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Oh, she wants to see us. Good. Let's take a rest real quick. Okay, do you want to talk to these people real quick? Reckle? I'm the child's mother, I guess. Do you want to try? Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody ritual. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't. Terrified. Okay, let's rest real quick and then go. I bet she's giving them hell. Okay. She's not our kid for nothing. I'll talk to them then. Yes, yeah, these two. Hang on, once I get the. I'm going to talk to him. Keep this up and you'll have blood on your hands. It's her, yeah. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. Yeah, we want to know why. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. No, it's not. Waiting into druid chambers to steal a sacred relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. <laughs> Here's the thing. Little girl, come on. Find out the reason for it. She's just down there with a freaking snake in front of her saying, I'm gonna kill you! Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting! Your I could take one of the gods, maybe two. Your guests. No, let's go save her. They don't I'd like to keep care. our guts on the inside. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Spells. And we have to persuade them this time, because if we don't, she'll die. 
the warlock's got something to say. I figured he probably did. What do you got to say, my man? I was watching you at the Grove Gate. You spilled enough goblin blood to fill the Chionta. Where'd you learn moves like that? Ah, uh, my might is a blessing from the outer plains. Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. <laughs> Your gift is near blinding. Your deity must have blessed you twice over. The blade's not often keen on sharing his glory. But if he has two, better it be with a champ like you. Now he's referring to himself in the third person. I know. You still got... You, you, that's... <laughs> I'm not sharing in your glory, you're sharing in mine. <laughs> you weren't bad either, we make quite a pair in battle. How about you? How did you become the Blade of Frontiers? Now let's say battle first. Then let the forests part and the rivers still. Legends approach. Now let's get some rest. I do my or best not. goblin killing at sunup. <laughs> oh, and I forgot. We also, that hooded skeleton we found, come and talk to us at our camp over here by the water. Now, I've got a... I've got a theory. He's got to be either just a really old, powerful lich, or he's an avatar. Because... I think he's more the avatar because he gave us the offer to raise our dead for 200 gold. Guess if we were out of like scrolls or revivify, which that's 200 gold. And I wouldn't see a lich having that ability. But it's just how everything was placed in there and everything was. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, he's got to be an avatar of uh, Dragal. Alright, time to go save the girl. I don't remember what it was in older editions, but in 5th edition, you can, Greater DD can have three avatars. They don't just disappear when they die. Bedtime. We've got to be on, what, day five or six now? Probably. Yeah, we, sh we should definitely already, like, be seriously getting turned. So there's something weird with these tadpoles. Now, just in case things get finicky, I'm going to go ahead and save again. I should have been saving more often anyway. coming my sound glitched really it did how much time do we have six minutes but it will be okay I'll be fine without no sound for right now I'll just read what they say okay come on I can't hear you either for some reason Into the stone door. Yeah, we will tolerate Outlander's. She is. Hold on. Yeah, she's a shadow druid. Definitely. Definitely a shadow druid. Probably in disguise. Because this, this is just like anything I've ever seen druids do. Or would think a druid would do. I'm sorry. Scout this out a little bit. Have you lost your senses, Koga? Let's release her. Yep, three little rats, wolf, couple people. Let's go. Let's go. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Koga. She's just a a what? Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. I like the second one. Yeah. That's what I'm going with this time. She's, She's just a, a child. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. 
And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it! Could try to persuade. I got a better chance of persuasion. Yeah, I feel like we should persuade. I wanted to say it was a high DC last time, though, but I've got nothing for nature and I got a plus two for persuasion. Yeah, let's go for it. Yep, 16. Mm, that's going to be tough to get. Could do it. Nope. I could not. Yeah, I've been wanting to save that reroll, but now's the time. Still missed it. Still missed it. It still says roll again, dash one, but I'm not gonna do it again. No, the tiefling remains until the rite is complete. Now, Wrath. No. No. Come on. Gone. By the gods, Korga, what have you done? Atheus! Tila to me! Bury the remains. Continue the right. And the parents? They killed her. They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the right. You're dead. You're, You're a, a dead, dead ditch, ditch walker. walker. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I don't think it. I know it. She made her choice. I know you. Oh no, you're dead. You see only victims and villains. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove. Free from harm. Free of intruders. Mm -mm. The right of thorns. It is the tree father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen. Okay, this person's crazy. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. I don't think you know Sylvanas very well. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. She's dying. We got a minute left, but we can do the combat and then finish it. Well, tell you what, we'll pause, pause here, here and then go for it. Just leave it here and then, yeah. So, thank you all for watching, everyone. Yes. Okay. Mute your mic. I'm getting a hell of a lot of reverb for some reason right now. For just a second. Thank you all for watching. When you come back, you're going to see my axe buried in this bitch's head. Because I, I ain't putting up with it. That, no. It, this, is, this ain't druids. These are crazy people. So, uh, thank you all for watching. And we will return to the cleaving in just a moment. Have a good day.